This is currently the cheapest chainsaw on the market. Let's get it open, let's put it together, and let's see if it's any good. <coughs> hey up duck, you are right, and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be putting the Titan electric chainsaw through its paces. Now I paid a full 55 pounds for this from Screwfix. It is one, or if not the cheapest electric chainsaw on the market that you can get. So I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna put it together, I'm going to put it through it paces because I've got all that wood just there to cut up. So let's get on and let's do it. Let's get this unboxed. See what we get. Right, again, your little chain guard just there. Obviously, the body of the saw, your cable. The Oregon 91PJ056X chain instructions. Wickle spanner. And your 400mm runner for your chain to go along. Let's put it together. Right, so the first thing we need to do is get this cover off to expose all the mechanics inside so let's do that let's get a little spanner release that nut screw it off there we go whip that cover straight off nice and easy and simple that is what it looks like on the inside just there that's your adjuster for your chain tension and that's what your chain goes around to make it spin and that's your little uh, thing to wang against your logs as you're cutting it so technical term that little thing next thing we need to do get his chain on this long thing here let's put it on right so on your guide bar you get a little picture just there and that is telling you the rotation as to which your chain needs to go so the right direction it needs to go so you can see all your little teeth on your chain just there so match it up to that picture which that's going the right way look at that so all we're gonna do then is slip the chain onto the end the guide bar just like that and then all you're going to do is slot it into the groove that's in the middle of the guide bar and then the chain is on your guide bar just like that so the next thing we need to do is get this onto the body of the chainsaw so to get your guide and your chain onto the body of the saw it is pretty simple you can just see the little cog just there there's three holes inside that cog which the inside of your chain sits into. Then you've got the adjuster pin just there that sits inside that hole. So what you've got to do is get your bar on, find the holes for the inside of your chain to sit into, like that. Then that little pin sits inside that hole just there. And then there you go, it's done. Obviously it's not in a fixed position, you can just take that straight off. So the next thing we need to do is to get this out to cover again like so that little slot sits in there put that on get your little nut screw that back on like so get your spanner just tighten that up tighten that up <laughs> And that is on that is not going anywhere now the only thing we've got to worry about is the slack in the chain which we adjust on the other side when we turn it over that little screw there adjusts the tension in your chain so what you want to do is get your spanner put it on that adjuster turn it until you get the correct tension that you need it tells you in the instructions what tension you're going to need for your chain and turn it that's just about fine I think you can always make further adjustments later on and all we've got to do then is come back to this side and tighten that out and not up just like that and that is not going anywhere let's drop some oil in it and there we go that's enough in there so it's together it's assembled the next thing to do is get some electricity out here and let's see if this Titan electric chainsaw is 
any good. We wired for sound, she's plugged in, she's ready to rock and roll. I've got a log on my holder, on my homemade Soros, just there, as you can see. Check that video out after you've watched this one on my channel as to how I made that. What an invention that is, unbelievable. It takes no room up whatsoever in your garden. Anyway, I've got my logs, they're all down there. All different shapes and sizes, a bit like a Weight Watchers uh, convention. Everybody's in here. We've got short ones, fat ones, thin ones, medium ones, you name it, I've got it. So we're going to put this Titan through its paces. So let's finally start cutting up some wood. Go. First impressions, unbelievable. Couldn't believe how quick that does cut that log up compared to my battery powered Titan. So much better, so much faster. It is noisier than what I first anticipated, but the cutting speed, unbelievable. Let's cut the rest up. There we go, I'm done. I've finished, I have cut through all them logs in a matter of minutes unbelievable i cannot believe how well the titan electric chainsaw performed unbelievable i am so glad i purchased it it was worth every penny of 55 pounds i'm so glad i'm not a tool snob and went for a more expensive electric one i'm obviously only going to be using it at home to cut my logs up for my burner for my log store and whatever if I have a little fire on the garden every now and again which we do so for the money for what I'm going to be using it for unbelievable I cannot believe it I have a Titan battery powered chainsaw and it's completely blown that out of the water but it is a battery powered one I only use that just for chucking in the boot and if I ever see anything when I'm out and about that's laid on the floor I can cut that up and wang it and get it home and chop it up like I have that lot but Going back to the Titan, there she is, in all her glory. So on that note, this is the end. This is goodbye for now. Join me on my next video when I'm gonna show you a nice little hack on how to chop those up without them flying everywhere. So check that video out. So that is it, I'll see you later. Ta-da, bye-bye.